Subscribe to the McHenry Man Show on YouTube. This live? What do you mean live? This is like just, or do you edit or at all or no? It doesn't get edited, but it's not live. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this won't come out till next week. Oh, no, yeah. No, and then if, if you say anything, you know, you're like, oh, I don't want that in there, just let me know and I'll forget to Just say the timestamp. <laughs> yeah, I'll just run the clock. Yeah, we got this too. In case you ever want to get a little hot, you can just throw that in there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So that'll work right off of it. Yeah, yeah, I'll fuck that up somehow. Yeah, well, you got to press the button. You can't be like, you know, these <laughs> Chinese. I understand why they call them, you know, and forget to hit the... Hit the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gotcha. We've had a number of instances where we've forgotten to hit the button. I'm pretty good at it. He's bad at it. I'm pretty bad at it. Yeah. Oh, well. He doesn't like me touching the I board. had practice because growing up, me and my cousin would do that on the phone all the time. Really? Well, you know, you'd call uh, somebody and then use the button. You'd be like, what's up? You know? It's wicked funny. Yeah. yeah. That's a good phone joke. Yeah, elementary school. That That's was still funny. The move. I was like, yeah, I got to talk to this <laughs> Jim Gaffigan <laughs> online and tell him about these <laughs> retards. <laughs> I think one of the retards is a <laughs> you know, did that move? Yeah, that's. Uh, did you have? Did you do a lot of prank phone call jokes? With your you know, I no, never prank phone. I w- always wanted to be better at prank phone calls when I was a kid, but mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I was, I just, I, w- I gave under pressure. I wasn't ever any good at it. I started. I was better at prank phone calls as an adult. I developed a uh, like a party trick. No, nah, not a party trick. I had my own thing. I, f- I did like a, I did like an album as an old man, and I'd call places as a senior citizen. No with, shit. Yeah, but just like, uh, <laughs> just like absurd demands. Like I'd call, I called like, um, like Outback Steakhouse and demanded to bring my own onion in to bloom, <laughs> or to like, you know, and they wouldn't let me do that. I was like, well, I want to come in. I want to select my onion in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going back there. I want to fucking see what's going on. Yeah. Back there. Well, you if you act like just this helpless like demented old man like yeah. people don't hang up on you because they feel bad so you can keep them on the phone you can keep the manager of an outback steakhouse on the phone for an hour and a half <laughs> they're like stay on the phone and don't lose them yeah right this is the this is going above and beyond <laughs> yeah uh yeah and they're really nice at the end of the phone call it kind of it's because you know a lot of prank phone calls are just trying to piss people off yeah but if you can piss people off and then restore their humanity in the end it has like a nice like kind of narrative arc yeah well don't let's not make this all bad yeah, like uh, I used to prank phone call, prank uh, prostitutes on Craigslist at mm-hmm. parties on yeah. speakerphone. I used yeah. to prank them too by giving them three hundred dollars, yeah, for right. a half hour, and seeing like we would see how far they would go. You remember when you, you like it was the week back page got like shut down by the FBI, uh-huh. and you had uh, I guess solicited it or whatever like the week prior. No, that was my friend. <laughs> oh yeah, your yeah. friend did it and then your friend was real nervous and he came over to my apartment and he was sweating bullets. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> gonna I bust wasn't, me. that wasn't me. Yeah, I know your friend, I mean, your friend that was very nervous about, <laughs> about getting in trouble because it was just like the week it happened to be the week they shut that website down. Yeah. You were waiting for Sipowitz to bust through the door. And- yeah. Oh, I mean it wasn't me, but yeah. That that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. you know how the, you know, it was, uh, okay, we can move on. Well, yeah, crime will do that to you. Yeah. When you commit a crime, you get all the paranoia of the things that could possibly happen. Yeah. But uh, we used Especially to... Especially a coming crime. <laughs> can you imagine how much it must suck to be a rapist? Like, I... Oh! After, afterwards? Like, just a regular post. No one appreciates how stressful it must be. Like, a them. regular... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean it. Like, a regular post nut with somebody that's, that's not a crime. Right. You're already like, what did I do? <laughs> but imagine... That person raping, wanted to fuck you. You're yeah, raping, yeah. like, a, an eighth grader at gunpoint. <laughs> and then oh, have, to have to be like, oh, ah! <laughs> I gotta get my life together. I forgot to pay my taxes. Yeah. <laughs> I was sober. Yeah, my dad. My dad had kids by my age. <laughs> you fucking loser! By the time my dad was my age, he had a fucking career and a oh family. My God. And I'm over here in a police in an <laughs> interrogation room. No one's trying to help the pedophiles, too. It's like yeah. that's like you're not going to like a. There are no nonprofits having a gala to like. Well, save you have an pedophiles. option if you're a pedophile, just like. You know, join the Democratic Party. Yeah, that's true. Like a huge work harder. Yeah, exactly. 